Hello. As you can see, I'm wearing glasses, which is no problem for me, but also not for you. Welcome. My name is Zachary from Zachary High Tech YouTube channel. This is tryout number two, and I just want to have some fun on YouTube with posting some just funny videos. Not about cats, but about me with a green screen behind me. This channel is not about me, it's about you, because it's called YouTube. Do you know the history of YouTube, by the way? Did you ever saw YouTube before YouTube? I saw YouTube growing from YouTube and Google videos going together. This was 14 years ago, if I'm correct. If I'm not correct, just put a comment below if you know the exact date of YouTube going live. Because also Google was not always Google search engine, because in the early days of the internet, YouTube and Google were not existing really because you had other search engines like Alta Vista and Lycos and maybe you also know some older search engines and not everybody was using Google like we are doing now. Now you have Google, you have YouTube which is also a great and one of the greatest search engines on the internet, and of course, Bing. Can you leave a link, a, 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 a comment below, if you using Google or you are using Bing? If I see somewhere Bing, I am because I am very used to use Google instead of Bing or some other search engines. So. For today's video, I'm just talking, and maybe this is tech talk, I don't know, this is just a tryout. Also for me, learning some new things that I can add to my YouTube channel, because it's the Zachary High Tech page, uh, sorry, correction, Zachary YouTube channel. On Facebook, I also have something, and that's called Zachary's High Tech correct page. So, and also I've got a weblog, sakriesweblog.com. So, uh, sometimes I do post new weblogs on that page, so check that site out. Maybe you can see some nice things that you didn't know. I post something about the Google Fold, the most beautiful and most expensive foldable phone. Which brings me also back in the early days, some 10 years ago or 15 years ago, did you could have a flip, flow, flip, bleh, flip phone. Phones that you can fold and you can slide and those mobile phones had just one problem. The connection between the slicer or the, um, the hinge where the two parts are folding every time. And now I don't know if you have heard it, I don't, I don't really know what is going on at Samsung because I don't think there's really a solution for the fold in the Samsung Galaxy Fold. They want to fold the Galaxy, which is a very big thing that they still want to do. They still want to for the entire universe so that you can travel faster to time and space. That's another subject. Okay. Um, just talking, okay. Um, also, what do you think about uh, PlayStation VR? Do you use it? I have one. It's right here on my desk or hanging on my desk 
and I do use it a lot but then also not because a lot of um, games that are coming out are always shooters or horror or thriller and I don't like those kind of things. I would like to see some open world building things like uh, The Sims. Sims in VR could be nice. I mean, you are standing in a house without any doors, without any windows, and you say, well, I want to have a window over there, I want a door there, I want to have a kitchen right here. Just like being in, uh, in Ikea or something, you know? You go to the Ikea, you buy some furniture, you go to your house in The Sims, and then you are placing those items right in your house like you would normally do, but then inside of your house. So that's also one thing that I um, really think about that should be on a VR. Also things that would be very nice to have on a VR, uh, also in an open world, creating your own world that you can share with your friends or other people on the world, in the world online and see what creations will bring together you know because we are living in 2019 and it's still not really possible to get some nice open world building uh, games on a vr i don't think i don't say i'm not saying that the vr psvr is bad no it's a great thing there are some great games I have Gran Turismo for the, also for the VR. I have um, Supershot, but you need to have a move controller for that. I don't have it, so I cannot play this game. Which started out that I also really would like to see on a VR, but maybe it's not going to come any soon. Horizon Zero Dawn on VR modus. That would be very, very cool to have. Just like the big, big, open world that you can be in VR. That would be very nice. The also thing that I really would like to see in VR, I know that is for the PC, a mod that uh, that you can go in GTR, GTA online in VR. That is also very nice to have. Further um, soccer games, you can, I don't like soccer. Be honest, I don't like sports. Maybe you can see that on my stomach. Okay, no problem, no big deal. But I would really like to see uh, some sporting games on VR. I saw last time in my P uh, PlayStation 4, PlayStation uh, Store update, I saw that there was some some games for uh, like golf. But I think that there are also other games uh, for sports in VR, um, also board, board games, but some games I don't really like. Uh, um, I'm pulled very much to the uh, the GTA Online, as you can see on my channel. I have a lot of GTA Online videos. Um, some crazy things that I saw in GTA Online sometimes. Uh, some uh, uh, failures or some glitches that are not working well and that you miss a lot of money because of this glitch. Um, yeah, but also uh, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, which I'm going to upload as a third, uh, uh, third in the series, um, Horizon Zero Dawn in cartoon. It's on the phone. I need to edit the video and then post it online. I really want to put some new content on my YouTube channel. So this is one reason that I'm going to post one new video. It's a quick tech talk, uh, blog, if you call it, uh, if you like to call it like this. Just, yeah, this, this is what I want to do. I want to upload new content every week, one, two, maybe three times uh, in my, um, in my workspace or my uh, yeah content making place I have a, a, a new board that I uh, write down some ideas 
as you can see over there, uh, uh, I still need to design a new logo for my channel. I've got something in my head, but as long as I don't do anything with my hands with it, then it's still in my head and not on the channel. So that's being said. I also want to do on, like I said, uh, weekly updates on my channel for uh, gameplay, 3D printing, tech talk, maybe also some reviews. I have a plan to upload a review about my first 3D printer of CTC, DIY uh, Prusa i3. Yeah, it's a very big name. It's a printer from uh, that I bought on AliExpress for 80 euros with shipping and the price of the 3D printer it was 135 euros which is not a much money uh, not a lot of money but because um, the problems that I had with this printer it cost me more money because I had to buy a new extruder uh, print head some other parts uh, didn't work well I got in contact with the supplier which was a very 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 good service you can really um, uh, say what's wrong with the printer and they will uh, they will may maybe ask for more details but if they have the right details they will ship the parts to your address so when I bought the printer the printer was uh, shipped from out of Germany and the company itself is is located in China and they sent spare parts from out of China to your address. So that being said, so well, I'm going to, to do a review about that printer any soon. So stay tuned, subscribe to my channel, I'll put on the notifications, don't forget that. Because if I post new content on my YouTube channel, you will get some notifications by email. I also do that with some other YouTubers that I follow. Maybe you can also see that in my uh, my my channel, the thing, uh, the videos that I like. Uh, Goon Squad is one of the uh, channels that I follow. Also, uh, Makers Muse, a very good site or a very good channel to to watch uh, 3D printing. He is a way, way ahead than me. I just started with 3D printing, but from my point of view, I want to show people how easy 3D printing can be. Because I'm a 40 year old guy, uh, I'm working, uh, I have some free, uh, free time in the evening, which I'm using for gaming, 3D printing, and of course, creating content for on YouTube. In the meantime, I'm um, also doing other things because I also have a family to run. Um, this is going to be cut because it's too much information that is not needed for YouTube. Okay. Um, I also want to do some more things with uh, programming because programming is one of the keys for in the uh, 2000 era, in the millennium 2000. Um, so that's also needed for uh, people to learn how to code and how to understand code languages. It's very important um, because you work, you can work very hard with your hands, and of, of course your hands you can use for for your keyboard. But the new new time, the new technology uses a lot of uh, programming. And for those programming, you need people to understand the code. Without code, you have no pro program. And if you don't have program, you have failing machines. Machines, they need to do things. Just like the 3D printer. I have a model. I designed it. I put it in a slicer program. And if I'm done with the slicer program, I send the file to my 3D printer printer or with USB cable or like I said in another video I use a uh, SD card and the G code is going on the uh, on the chip on the on the memory card 
don't demonize it. It's called G code. It has nothing to do with go God code. Okay. That's being said. So the G code, I don't know what the G stands for, but not for God. But in this code, it's it's going to say to the to the three D printer, you go from there to there. You need to extrude that much filament and, and so on and so on. I think you get the idea. So those machines need to have a code to work with, just like your car. You you use gas. Uh, you you steer. You you brake. You do things as a human in the car. So with the 3D printer or other robots, machines, you program to do something with the machine. Okay. So that being said, this is this 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 is the very small tech talk. I don't know how long this was, but okay. See you next time. I hope you enjoy enjoyed this part a little bit maybe it was boring maybe i don't i, I don't know uh, some more things are, are coming up oh i do also want to mention something else that i just come up with just like this video put on your notifications and see you next time bye bye